problem is to write a python program to find numbers divisible by another number hello everyone a very warm welcome to wsq today my name is ayushi jain in this video we will learn how to write a program that will allow us to check if a number is divisible by another number that is given inside a certain list to create this program there are two solutions that means there are two ways in which we can do the solution first solution is with the use of for loop and the second solution is with the use of anonymous function that is our lambda function one by one we will see both the solution first of all let's have a look on solution number 1 that means we will be using the for loop so in for loop what do we need to do we need to take a range like for example i'll take for i in range and i'll give a range of let's say from number 1 to 100 i want to check that how many numbers are there that are divisible by 13 for that what i will be doing i'll be writing for i in range 1 comma 100 and i'll give a condition over here that if number whatever our i is when it's divided by 13 it gives the remainder 0 in that condition what we will do we will print that number so what we have basically done over here that for i in range we have taken any certain range now you can take any starting value also or any ending value also suppose you can take a upper limit also so i can take a upper limit as user input enter a number here similarly i can take a lower limit i n t input and i'll write enter lower limit here instead of writing enter a number here let's just write enter upper limit here so that person will know which one is the upper limit and which one is the lower limit now what do we need to do inside this range instead of writing 1 to 100 let's write uh, from lower that whatever our lower limit is our range will start from that number and whatever our upper limit is our range will stop at that number plus 1 because suppose if it is 1 to 100 So it will exactly stop at ninety nine. So to make it write hundred over there, we need to write hundred and one over there. So we will be writing for i in range lower to upper plus one. If i when divided by thirteen gives us the remainder zero, in that condition we have to print that number. Okay. So let's run and see what happens once we run it. So I will be giving twenty between twenty to let's say sixty. So let's run and see what output we'll get. So we have been asked for a upper limit over here. I'll be writing upper limit as 60 and lower limit as 20, and we'll get the output 26, 39, and 52. It would be better that if you write the lower limit first and then the upper limit because it's a bit confusing over here. So I'll be writing this lower limit above and removing it from here. And now if I run it up again, so if I say from 50 to 100. We'll be having 52, 65, 78, and 91. These are the numbers that are divisible by 13. So this is how you can find a number that is divisible by another number. This is our first solution. Now talking about our second solution. Second solution involves a lambda function. That means a anonymous function over here. Now what is a lambda function? First of all, let's understand that. As I said, lambda function is a function. It's an anonymous function. It is a temporary function, basically. Why it is called an anonymous? Because we don't have to give it any name. So if we want to use a function inside our program, but we don't want to take it a lot of space, or we want to only use it once, or if it is a small function that is a single line expression that has only a single line expression, in that case, lambda function is used. So here we will be creating a list. First of all, so I'll be creating a list of some numbers. For example, I'll be having some numbers inside it, like nine, comma seventy eight. Comma sixty five, comma thirty four, comma one zero three, comma one three zero, comma fifty, comma seventy. So these are few numbers that I have now. What I need to do inside this list, I need to check which numbers are divisible by thirty. For that, I'll be creating a result variable over here. Okay, inside this, I need to use my lambda function. To use my lambda function, I'll be writing lambda x is equals to X when divided by thirteen gives us the remainder zero. That x, when you divide this x by thirteen, it should give the it should give us the remainder zero, comma, and we will be checking it from the list that we have over here. I'll be putting it inside the bracket, and instead of is equal to, I'll always put is equal to. It should be a colon over here. So lambda x colon. X when divided by thirteen gives us the remainder zero, and we'll be checking it from the list. That's why we'll be passing the list over here. Now, what do we need to do? We need to use our filter function over here. What does this filter function over here say? This filter function means that whatever condition we have given over here, all the values that satisfies this condition will be filtered and stored inside somewhere. So where it will be stored, it will be stored inside a list. So I'll be creating a list over here, and here I'll be closing it. So what we have done, we have created a list over here 
inside the list we have filtered the values filtered what values which satisfy this condition that lambda x is equals to x when divided by 13 gives us the remainder 0 where x is all the numbers that are there inside our list so inside the print statement we will be writing that the values that are perfectly divisible or we can just write divisible by 13 that uh, the values that are that are divisible by 13 are I'll put a comma over here and pass the result. Now let's run and see what output we will get. So here the values that are divisible by 13 are 39, 78, 65 and 130 over here. So these are the numbers that are perfectly divisible by 13 and gives the remainder 0. I hope both the methods are clear to you that how we have used for loop over here and in this condition how we have used the lambda function. The lambda function will be applied on all the values inside the list and it will filter all the values that satisfies this condition and filter it and fill it inside this list over here and the name of the list is result and lastly we will just print the result value over here so i hope you guys have no doubts and no questions and for more such interesting programs stay connected guys thank you